mom. Why'd you marry that phony? What is wrong with you? Oh, I can't believe this. You must be the huh? Hopkins boy. Where'd you come from? We've been expecting you. Welcome to Bullworth Academy. Ah. I'm sure you'll be very happy here. Very happy indeed. Anyway, I can't spend my life waiting around for naughty little boys. I've got a man to make happy. The headmaster is expecting you, Hopkins, in his study. Okay. His study is over there, boy. In the main building? Don't keep Dr. Crabblesnitch waiting. He's a brilliant man. Brilliant. Yes. So, you must be Hopkins. Uh, uh-huh. What? Uh-huh. What? I meant yes, sir. Very good. Now, let me see. You've done a lot of naughty things, haven't you? Vandalism, graffiti, bad language, violent conduct, disrespecting staff. Oh, I'm scared of you, Hopkins. Come on, give me a break. Yes, I've never met a boy like you. Never in all my life. Hopkins, you're quite the nastiest little boy I have ever encountered. Tell me, why should I waste my time on you? I don't know. Because it's my calling. It's what I do. You excel at causing trouble, and I excel at fixing little boys like you, at making you into respectable members of our community here at the Academy. I've got a good feeling about you, boy, a feeling you and I are going to be great friends. You keep that nose clean, boy or I shall clean it myself. Miss Danvers, are you back yet? Yes, Headmaster, and I got your tea. You are good to me, Miss Danvers. No more than you deserve, Headmaster. Take our new friend Hopkins here and show him around the school and get him properly attired. Certainly, Headmaster. Come along, boy. I haven't got all day. And boy, remember, you will have a clean nose. So keep it clean, or we'll clean it for you. So here I am at probably the worst school in the country, whose alumni are nothing but arms dealers, serial killers, and corporate lawyers. Real scum. And that old creep thinks he can tame me? We shall see, my friend. I only give people what they have coming to them. Where's your uniform, young Hopkins? Run along now, child. Don't be silly. More people can just educate themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
I'll get you back in front of the whole school! <laughs> You're dead, new kid! Dead! Hey, you! Break it up! That's enough of that! Break it up! Why are you not in your uniform, young man? Go change immediately! Aw, oh, come on! Hey, you're the new kid. Yeah? What's it to you? Friendly, aren't you? Give me a break, loser. Hey, relax, friend. You're all pent up. Go easy or they put you on medication. They did to me. Boy, you nearly sent me insane. That's fascinating. Now if you'll excuse I me... I said relax, friend. Get off, man! Listen to me, tough guy. You just arrived at the toughest school in the country, and I'm offering to be your friend. Trust me, in a place like this, you're gonna need friends. So it's up to you. You gonna play nice or what? Yeah, sure. Good. So how about I show you around? We don't have a bar in the door, just a soda machine. You should probably uh, change into your uniform if you don't want to get in trouble. Again. Never. Hey, how you doing? You must be the new kid. I'm Pete. Pete Kowalski. Jimmy Hopkins, and don't ask how I'm doing. I've been here five minutes, and already people want me dead. Even my parents didn't hate me this quickly. Well, welcome to Bullworth. It's a dump. Great. I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent. Yeah, I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent, because I'm really bad. Give up the tough guy act, pal. Hey, man, what's your problem? Well, ADD primarily, but also life. My parents, this school, Western civilization, but really, honestly, enough about me. Oh, I see you've met the dorm's mascot. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Femboy, the girliest boy in school. Petey, haven't you got some imaginary friends to go annoy? Why don't you leave me alone, Gary? <laughs> Look at you. Leave me alone, Gary. I'm really self-important now that I finally hit puberty. What's your problem? I'm just being nice to the new kid as he passes through Bullworth on his inevitable journey to prison. Look, I gotta unpack. Would you guys mind getting out of here? <laughs> oh, now look what you've done, Pete. Jimmy can't stand you already. Oh, no, no. 
sex, do you break any rules? They'll hurt you. time at the zoo. Okay, here's the deal. Over there we got the nerds. Of course, they're complete social outcasts. They look pretty harmless. They're actually sneaky bastards. Their turf is the library. And those are the preps. They're all money and condescending attitudes. Yeah, massively inbred and completely brainless. Very observant, Jimmy boy. Now over there are the greasers. They think they're tough. Or at least try to look tough. Wouldn't advise messing with them, at least not yet. They hang by the auto shop. And last but not least, the jocks. These guys rule the school. Definitely avoid them. Whatever, I'm not afraid of some dumb roid monkeys. You'll learn. Come on, let's go. You're here to learn, not to goof off. Get to class.
are you doing in here? Oh, right. Class. Take care to follow my instructions precisely, as we will be working with volatile chemicals today. Good job. Keep paying attention. Keep up the good work. You're almost done. Oh, my. James, keep your mind on what you're doing. You seem to be making yourself quite comfortable here, my boy. I'm just trying to fit in. By fighting? By making a nuisance of yourself? That is not the Bullworth way, boy. Yeah, you could have fooled me. What? I said you could have fooled me. This place is full of bullies and maniacs. Nonsense. That's just school spirit. Hijinks. Why, in my day, we felt nothing of castrating the new boys. I want you to stop this nonsense, Hopkins. I want you to behave yourself. You might learn something. Fine. Can I go now, sir? On your way. Hey, I saw you sucking up to Crabble Snitch. What? Shut up. Screw you, new kid. This is what we do to teachers pets around here. You better not. Ow! Ah! <laughs> come here, you little. Yeah, come and get me. <laughs> what you gonna do?
good. That's all there is to it. Class, the curriculum demands that you do these vocabulary uh, assignments. Why do you finish them here in class? That way you'll have more free time. Good show. I'm afraid that's not English. Try again, James. I don't think that's in the dictionary. That's not long enough. Well done. That's right. Good one. Keep it up. Good one. 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 Good one.
Well done, James. Well done, indeed. Atomic wedgie made him bleed. Please Scott's let me off face. the hook. Hey there. That's how you do it. Done and done right. So that's a good idea, right? Yeah, okay, all right, sure, I'll do it. <clears throat> hey man, what's going on? Not much. I was just telling Petey here about my idea to take over the school. I mean, my plan for us to take over the school. What plan? Don't worry, Jimmy. It's just a little something I came up with. It's sink or swim, my friend. And if you're good at swimming, you gotta let the losers drown. Why don't you guys leave the thinking up to me? What? What? What, what the? Can't you say anything else? <laughs> you know what, Petey? You were right. Jimmy is pretty dumb. What'd you say about me? Whoa, nothing. No, no, no. All I said was that you had to be pretty dumb to get expelled from so many schools, that's all. <laughs> Relax, James. All he said was that you must be dumb. Or maybe you're all messed up because you came from a broken home. What'd you say about me, dwarf? Come on, dude. Chill. No, 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 no. Gary's taking everything out of context, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't lie, Petey. Don't you lie. Because you know what happens to liars? No, no, I'm not lying. We kick them in the balls! <laughs> Come on, Jimmy, let's go see how good you are with this new slingshot I heard you had. Don't worry, friend. Nothing escapes my notice. I hear everything. You and me, we can do things. Jimmy, this way.
again. Go on, Petey. Go cry to the teacher. Tell them I was nasty to you. Shut up, Gary. You're such a jerk, man. Oh, am I, Petey? Oh, you're so cutting. I'm really upset. Actually, I think I'm gonna go cry. Then I'd be just like you. Cry, little girl. Oh, look out. <laughs> Here comes Jimmy. Just knock it off, Gary. You're out of line. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was hanging out in the girls' dorm. Silly me. Shut up, man. You're boring. Boring? I'm boring. You're none too interesting yourself, friend. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, both of you. I apologize, okay? I just get a little overexcited. Forgive me. Forget it. It's cool. Anyway, I've got a good idea for some fun. Let's go out and torment someone really helpless and unfortunate. That homeless guy. <laughs> come on. You coming, little Petey? Come on, I'm sorry. I'll give you a kiss if that's what you want. Shut up. Then come on. This is gonna be fun. Harassing some old homeless guy is fun. It is, and you should be you grateful. You wouldn't be so bad. Can we just clean up a bit? I guess. Hey, Jimmy, tell me about this guy. Does he like to go in his own pants? I wish I could. Use that. Why is this stuff lying around everywhere? Oh, careful, idiot. Where is this dirty old perv? You know, you're not very nice, Gary. And you're a loser, Petey. One of life's unfortunates. Get out of here, you little scum! <laughs> <laughs> so I guess the rumors are true, Jimmy. Your dad does live Shut on campus. Up. You jerk! Ow! Let's leave this guy to his welfare payments. Come on, let's get out of here. Just get out of here, kid. Why should I? Because otherwise I'll kill you. What's your problem? <laughs> That's a long story. You got any liquor? No, I'm 15. Well, what about drugs? No. Then why shouldn't I kill you? All right then, tough guy, kill me. <laughs> you know what, kid? 
I like your style. You got guts. When I was on that ridge in Korea, watching my buddies get killed by friendly fire, I could have used somebody like you. Yeah? Thanks. But I bet you can't fight. You do me a favor, and I'll show you some real moves. Classified moves. Real special army stuff. Cool. Just get me a part for my radio, and I'll show you what the army taught me. What, like how to get shot by your own side? Exactly. I'm a good kisser. I've practiced for years on my 